Hello and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And yes, this is episode 2 because episode 1 was the first impressions video, which was a live stream. So if you haven't checked that out, please do go check that out. And in that stream, I did a few races. I started uh, getting used to things, unlocking a few things. So at this point, I think I have unlocked all of the map but a lot of the tracks are still locked and things like that. So what am I going to be doing uh, for this particular video and probably in the next few videos? Well, I on stream, I did a few of these and I was having some issues with my brakes, which I've now resolved. And I got, I've gone back and got gold in a few of these. So my job or my task today is to try and first off, get gold in these five and I'm going to be doing this with a wheel without traction control. So that should make it a little bit more interesting. So I want to get gold in those five and then move on to the national A and see what I can do there. So I think what I'm going to do is my my intention is to perhaps get up to the international B license on camera and then I might do the others off camera over the next couple of videos. So anyway, I, I don't need to blab. Oops, I've just clicked uh, the tutorial. I do not need to blabber anymore. Uh, all I've got to do now is, yes, I know how to do this. I just need to figure out how to stop this. Uh, pause is that, right? So, yes, yes, yes. So, I'm just going to exit that. And I will join you at the start of one of the National B licenses. Let's see if I can get this scuba circuit one. Scuba circuit with a Fair Lady Z cornering basics. This should be interesting. Let's see what I can do with the wheel. Right, so the one thing that I do know that I've really got to watch with the with this without traction control and everything is obviously See that's not good that's not good enough. That's just a bronze. Um I need to I need to really watch how this car drives around some of these corners because third gear is absolutely fine it really is but again it's it's not happening I feel like I feel like with, without traction control some of these some of these really really get difficult So a little bit faster through there and start sliding out of there and there it goes. See? I'm a little confused as to how that isn't a fair. All right, let's go over the line backwards. Sure. I'll do this a few times and then I might move to a controller and see what happens. But uh, yeah, this is definitely not uh, easy to do without traction control. And one of the things I've noticed about Gran Turismo is that, oh, that's close. One of the things I have noticed about Gran Turismo is that the cars all seem to be very skittish on, on the rear. All of them seem to have this same, same issue. Um, so whether it's a rear wheel drive or a front wheel drive or anything like that, oh, that was close. I can do this, I can get the gold. So all I've got to do is just carry a little bit more speed, it seems. There we go. There's your gold, sideways. Let's take gold sideways, absolutely fine. Uh, I feel like, oh, it doesn't have a replay for these, does it? Yes, it does. I feel like I really need to get a... If I can somehow get a, a... A thumbnail or something of this, this is going to be quite funny. Nah, that didn't really work. That really hasn't worked how I wanted it to. Uh, play replay. That's the kind of replay I'm after. That's the sort of replay I'm after. Here we go. So, uh, oh, I, I do want a sideways one because this just 
it is it's going to it's going to work. There it is. Uh not quite that one. Uh that'll do. Walk around the car. Hey look, that's our gold. Um how am I going to take this? Up down, prepare camera. I'm not going to do massive photos or anything like that. Um it has been it's been it's been some time since I've since I've uh, properly done photography in, in Gran Turismo. It's a, a very long time, actually. Uh, and let's go ahead and shoot that. Now, I'm trying to work out how to turn these into thumbnails. Or not thumbnails, but turn these into, into pictures, screenshots. And I'm not sure if I have to just do this and take a screenshot. Is that what I do? Or is there a, a way to... Because that's obviously saved. I'm not sure if there's, there is another way to do it. So I will have to... I'll have to work that out. But there we go. There's there's a a thumbnail perhaps for for this particular for this particular video. Right, let's move on. I'm still at the bottom of the list of uh, on my friends list as as you can see. Um but that's absolutely fine. I'm not I'm not really looking to push myself forward on this. I still have to get used to this wheel. So, there is that. Uh come on. Off you go. Move to the next. And this is going to be Cornering Basics 5. Okay. So I think on this one... Yeah, let's see. 17.8 is probably what I'm looking for. 17.9 is the... Is the gold, so... I did an 18 dead somehow. I do not remember how I did that, but... Is this third gear or fourth gear? That's the other thing. It's going to be fourth. Okay. No traction control. Where do we break? I think about there. Now that was pretty slow to be fair. And apparently that's gold. Um I'll be honest, that was slow. I just out of curiosity, I just wanna I just want to go a little bit I feel like I can break a little bit later than than I have. So about there. And accelerate a little bit earlier as well. And I think that might be a much better... There you go. And that'll do. I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. I'm not even going to bother with a replay for, with a picture for that one. And okay, top of, top of the timesheets there. Easy peasy. I need to see, there were a few other people that I used to, so these, all these names you see here, I've had on my PlayStation list for uh, a long time, a long, long time. I say I'm not going to do the, I, I do actually want to take a photo because I've just realised I do particularly like this car. Always remember how to ch change a... Uh, There we go. That 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 could turn out. To, I really like the graphics in this title, though. I, I'm I'm not sure if this is this is coming across on the screen quite as quite as well, but uh, the graphics in in here are stunningly good. Uh, can I? Ah, we cannot go outside the track, which is a little bit disappointing. But yeah, the graphics in this are really, really nice. Especially with the ray tracing and everything. That it, it just really works. Um, that's fine. Shutter speed. Bring that up. In fact, no, let's just do that. Uh, 16.90. Yeah, I'm doing that intentionally. Uh, let, let's mess around with the effects just a little. Um, so apparently you can put some film grain on, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, glare? No, let's leave that. Okay, no, there's a lot of effects here. I need to, you know, I, I shall have to look through these. Um, that's nice, though. Some of these are quite, quite nice. A painting. That's really nice. 
But okay, well, I'm I'm just going to just going to go back and uh, should we take let's take the photo. And again, I'll take the screenshot. I've got to work out how to do the how to um. That looks really good. I've I've got to work out how to export these properly because I tried. I tried before, and it didn't seem to work. It didn't seem to export to to the PlayStation. So it, it, it exports it to it exports it over to the um what do you call it? It exports it into Gran Turismo, at least I think, because I cannot find any of my photos that I took on the live stream. And then and then I have no idea. Now this is going to be an interesting one. Um, thirteen eight for the for the gold. I'm sitting with a fourteen seven. Uh, I'm trying to think of a breaking point. I think I'm going to have to look at the breaking points on this because this isn't uh, something that I am too keen on with my breaking. So I think the hundred meter board. Oh, I can break well before, uh, well after the hundred meters. Okay, well after the 100 meters. I think um, I think we're looking at perhaps the 50 meter mark for the brakes. Let's find out. Let's break about here. Ooh, not quite, not quite where I wanted it to be. But is that still the goal? That's the goal. That will do. That will do. I'm not going to. I'm not going to bother with with pushing that. It's probably still at the bottom of the list. Yes. Um, I think. I think I just. I should have. I should have held the brakes just for a fraction longer on that, and that would have helped. They're not. Not bad for. Uh, let's see. What's this one? So we've got a f mm, medium corn. Right. In the world of rally, it looks like we've got a a flat. Yeah, we've got a we've got a flat left, followed by a a five right, followed by a followed by a an, a three right long, possibly. That's in the world of rally. Anyway, let's let's see what I've got here. So, seventeen five to beat. So my first attempt on it was an eighteen was an eighteen four nearly seventeen five to beat. What gear do we want? Third or fourth? Third. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Fine. Yeah, that's a fail. Okay, so I think one one thing I've just noticed with this car, it seems to have paddle shifts. Yep, it's paddle shifters. Oh no, it's not. This isn't paddle shift, that's fine. I'll work it out. Apparently it hit neutral for some reason. That was a little slow though, a little bit too slow. 18-1. Hmm. Where where am I where am I losing time here? Where am I losing time? So I'm pretty good through this corner. And then There we go, that's pretty okay-ish. I'm not sure if that's going to give me the time I wanted. It did not. Three tenths. I need to do it. I said I was going to do all of it, so uh, it needs to be done. Three tenths somehow. That was a, a little bit too late on the brakes, which means my exit is compromised, and yes, two tenths now. So if I did not, 
If I did not compromise my exit there, that would have been a piece of cake. I have to say, not having things like traction control and having manual transmission makes these driving tests so much more engaging. There we go. I think that's got to be gold. There. Oh. Okay. What? Nineteen thousandths of a second. Nineteen hundredths of a second. Could I flat shift this? I wonder. I think that's it. There you go, done. That's the gold. I could tell that that was just slightly quicker. It's amazing how when, when you are doing the license tests, you can just tell when something is just slightly, slightly quicker as you're going, as you're going through. Like I could tell exactly that I was carrying an extra half a mile an hour into a corner or just braking at a slightly different spot. And now time for the final exam. This has only taken, what, 10, 15 minutes? Which isn't bad because then I can start the next lot. Right. What do I have to do here? It's just part of uh, scuba circuit. Scuba circuit. Uh, 25, four is the, is the time for gold. So what, uh, this car. Okay. I need to learn the car. Oh, that's this car understeers badly. So, a couple of things I've noticed about um, about Gran Turismo and the driving style. It does feel it does feel like you've got to turn the cars more than more than, for example, something I'm used to in in a set of Corsa. It just feels like you really have to push the car more for Gran Turismo, and it's. It's weird. It's a really strange feeling after all these years in, in Assetto Corsa. It's a very, very strange feeling to do this. But there's the tw there's the goal though. That actually wasn't as hard. Once once I figured out what I was doing on that, that wasn't that wasn't a problem. Uh, should I go for a dive? Oh, no, no point. I could, I could go for a, a better lap time on that. Should I try to go to the top of the top of the board? Because I know I can on that. That was that was actually a lot. Of no, I'm not going to bother. There are a few, as I said, there are a few other people in my in my friends list that um, also will probably be ending up picking up Gran Turismo Seven. These are all the old GT Planet people that we used to race with and everyone just used to add each other online just so you could race in Gran Turismo 5 and yes that that is where this is from uh, Mitsubishi GTO I like these I did like these okay more more on that stored in the garage should we go to the next license okay um racing line beginner all right. So is this? Let's, let's see. Uh, sure. Let's let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, I don't want you to. Yet. Yeah, yes, I know. I know. I know. Go go away. Go go away. I don't want you. To, I'm I'm fine with. I'm fine with that. Uh, right. Seventeen five to beat. Uh, I remember this corner. I do remember this corner. Again, it's been such a long time since I've been on this corner. What's it? What's this corner like? It's still quite. Uh, it's not as open as I thought it was, but fine. Uh, I can get the silver on that. I mean, I'm, I can get the gold on that. It's just slightly. I've just got to remember to go slightly wider out on that. 
It's so nice hearing the Gran Turismo noises again. It's really, really nice hearing the Gran Turismo noises. There you go. There's the gold. Gold and sideways. Easy peasy. And to the next one. Oh, top of the top of the leaderboard on that one. Top of my leaderboard. I know people will probably have done that in 16 seconds. Um, right, square corner. Now this reminds me very much of Seattle. This reminds me very much of Seattle, just backwards. So the way that this is going, yeah, Seattle would be coming around the opposite way and it'd be a really tight square corner. So I know I'm going to do badly on this because I always did really badly. Yes, I, thank you. I always did really, really badly in Seattle. 18 1 to beat. Now, righty, let's do this. Fourth gear starts in fourth. All right, well, we'll keep going in fourth then. a lot wider than it looked that's for sure um i think i think i've got the ability to get the gold there that's a lot lot wider than it looks one of the things i would like in gran turismo would be if uh oh dear locked up locked up locked up locked up yeah that was a lock up that was my own fault one of the things i would like in gran turismo would be if we could disable just certain parts of the HUD. So for example, I, I do not need the tack, but it would be very nice if I could keep the... Um, there we go. That should surely be a gold. There you go. Um, it, would, it would be very nice if I could keep like tyre pressures and things like that. That would be really nice to see. That actually was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Next. I'm doing okay here. Surprisingly. We'll keep going for a while. Uh, Monza. Which... Which corner is this? Oh, they're the two. That's, uh, that's Lesmo 1 and 2. Great. Lesmo 1 and 2. Not not looking forward to that. 22-3 to beat. Okay, this Fiat's really slow. Yeah, this Fiat's really, really slow. Yeah, it's slow and understeery. Don't like this Fiat. It feels different in here than a set of Corsa, that's for sure. Massively different. All right. There we go. Let's see what that does. Ah, oh, no, I need the gold. As I said, I need the gold. I can go faster through... I think I can go faster through Lesmo 2. I can... I could probably go faster through Lesmo 1, to be fair. Or not. Surely that's gold. There you go. Moving on. License tests. You do them, you try and get rid of them straight away. That that's how that's how it works. Next. Before, this is this is going quite well. This is actually going quite well. Urban tracks. Learn to drive without colliding with walls. Yeah. 29.8 is the is what we're after now. What kind of 
what, what do we have here? We have uh, one corner that might cause me a little bit of problems, and then that, that corner that the line's just gone through, so I'll tell you when. Oh, it's gone. There. That looks like somewhere where I'm going to understeer. So I just need to be aware of that, I think. It's going to be a third or fourth gear start. Third gear start. Let's find out. So this, this is flat, not a problem. This one here looks like it could be slightly problematic. Oh no, that's actually a lot faster than I thought it would be. Okay, so I'll figure that out. And this is not really much of a problem either. Anywhere where I could end up having a problem then. Okay. Okay, that's fine. It's a lot faster than... Oh, why did I exit? It's a lot faster than I thought it would be. Fine by me. So I just need to pick up a little bit more speed here. I feel like this is the track that they started us off on, started us off on on the music rally. Oh, that's the wall, that's the wall, that's a fail. Okay, it still is not as fast. So you do need a little bit of brakes. Just keep it nice and wide, slight brakes, and we should be okay. There we go, and then just flat. From here, it's just going to be, I think it's just flat all the way. Not quite flat, a little bit of, a little bit of a lift, there we go. Oh, that's still, oh, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem, I can tell you that now. Very unfamiliar with, with the car and the track. got to work out where I can gain a bit of time. That's a crash. Um, understeer, central and that, that is where I'm going to gain the time I think. One second to gain. This could be where it, this is, this could be where I end up uh, stuck. At, the, at this particular, on this particular one. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? So that's that's an interesting feeling because as I slammed on the brakes, again the, the back of the car lifts. It feels like the back of the car lifts, which you would expect in in, in a front wheel drive car, of course, front engine front wheel drive, but perhaps not to the extent that that just happened. Very interesting. Come on, I just want the 29.8. That's not happening. Oh, that is really not happening. Maybe I should just go to the next one and come back to... Come back to this. This one is just a little bit difficult to get that perfect line through. See, I need a much faster exit there. That is where I'm, I think I'm, I'm really having trouble. And I can already see, I mean, look, look at where my ghost is, so. I'm only just behind it, but okay. Keep, keep fourth, keeping fourth. I'll try again, and then I will move on just to ensure that this, the last part of this video is not too boring. So we will keep fourth. There we go. And now let's see what we're getting here. Fast as possible. Oh, okay. Um. 
I will get the silver. I will get the gold on that off camera. How far have I got through these by uh, by by chance? Looks like only uh, Brent's managed to get this into the golds. This isn't easy. This one. Should I give it one more go? Because I'm I'm at the end of this. I'm at the end of this episode. This just brings back all the pain of Gran Turismo license tests. And I'm fairly sure this would be easier on a controller, but, you know, why, why would you do it on a controller when... No! Why would you do it on a controller when you've got a steering wheel? It just adds to the challenge. And once you're used to it, to be honest, once I'm used to the steering wheel in Gran Turismo and Gran Turismo's physics, I think I'm not going to have any of these difficulties. I honestly think it's going to be really, really simple. Although, at that point, I think I have messed up. Yes, I thought so. Look at that. I am really on, on my, my own tail there. Um, maybe I'll just put my fastest run up or something. I think I think I might just do that. So if that one actually works. I think that might have actually just got the gold. No. Okay. Yeah, I will do this off camera, but that is the end of that is the end of that video. Um, let's have a look at how far I've actually got. So we've got through a couple of the licenses. Uh, A4, that's what we're on. So I will get that off camera and then in the next video, we're going to do this set of licenses and let's see what I can do on that. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Gran Turismo 7, leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think and what you want to see in this because there is a lot to actually do in, in this title and there is a lot that I'm going to do. Would you like to see more races? Would you like to see more uh, car builds, livery builds, things like that, or livery designs, things like that? Um, I'm thinking of doing a Nordschleife challenge for this as well depends on what we'll do but all those ideas that you may have put them in the comments box below and I will read them and see and try and incorporate whatever I can. If you can do so please do consider supporting me on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively appreciated. It would really really help me out and also you can find me on social media at ecgadget LP for both Twitter and Instagram. That is all from me. And I'll see you next time in Gran Turismo 7.